Okay, let's find a place to sleep in here. Welcome to Yakuza Zero, the place where we sleep in the park. Ah, oh, what a nice bench. That'll make a good bed. Uh, isn't this actually what we're doing? <laughs> I guess we gotta find a place a bit more hidden than a park bench for me to sleep my nice white suited carcass down. We got a lot of tarp covered stuff here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's you. Hey, this is one of them Tachibana guys that sit in front of, you know, places that we want to reduce the property value of. A fellow employee. <laughs> I remember Bearded Homeless Man. Thank you very much. By the way, why did your mother give you such a name? <laughs> yep. Uh, I've actually got, I got my final exam, as in the last one, as in the last one I have to take, not just the last one for the course, uh, in like two and a half hours, two and a quarter, and, um, I haven't done anything for that class for a little while. <laughs> I I think I did like one homework problem yesterday, and then a couple like two days before that. And um, it's not bad. It's like differential equations. Well, it's more specifically higher math for engineers. But it's differential equations. It's not the worst thing imaginable. I just... Um, I'm better at math classes where uh, you know what you're doing, I guess. Like, the further up you get in math, the more and more you kind of have to rely on just using theorems and uh, someone else's formulated equations, you formulae, and just memorize them without knowing why they work. I was actually thinking about this a little bit earlier, because we don't... Um, even in... Hell, geometry even, and to uh, calculus to some extent. Well, pre-cal was when I did a lot of um, a lot of the trigonometry stuff. But once they introduce trigonometry, it just goes downhill from there because it, it's it, it's just that um, like you know about sine, cosine, tangent, and all that. But you don't really... Oh, there's a game. Okay, you know what? Fine, I'll, I'll play the game. Um, oh. Oh. Huh. Okay, uh, I guess we're paying money for this. So, like, uh, you can, you can just, uh, use, uh, trigonometric functions as stand-ins for ratios of sides with relation to, like, the radii of circles on Cartesian coordinates, or the lengths of sides of right triangles, and all that jazz. Um, oh, you know, I really should have... Okay, cool. There is, in fact, a how to play button. That's good, because I have no idea how to play. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Well... Hold on. Hold on. How do I play? Kabafuda. Kabafuda. I have a solitaire game that uses Kabafuda, as a matter of fact. I also like that the pages turn... Uh, backwards from the way that, you know, their English is typically done. You know what? I bet I'll figure it out. Probably. And I don't want to have to read this while I was telling, talking about trigonometric functions, because I, you know, definitely have better things to do. Is this basically poker? You know what? I'm going to go for, uh, we've got a four. I'm going to place on the three, and I'm going to wager five. Why the hell not? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, boy. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, to be honest. Also, isn't this card upside down? It isn't a bit wacky that it's saying um, it's five. Sure, let's show down. Eight. 
defeat. Oh, great. I lost my bet. Oh, okay. I'm not going to lie. I don't quite understand why. I got to break even. It's imperative that I break even. Great, an eight. Oh. Well, actually, that's not bad, per se. I think it's most likely I lose to green. Just warrior Wakama. Wakamiya. Because the rest of them, it's like highly likely they end up over. I knew it. See? See? We did it. Okay, that was, that was also a likely loss. And this is a win. So I think... I don't even know how Banker is supposed to really get points here. Whatever. Um, I like how I completely forgot that I was talking about math. You know, because everybody loves hearing that. <laughs> Let's do 53 just so I'll end up at a, uh, an even 250. Oof. Let's draw. Watch, I'm going to 8. Oh! Hey, that's really nice, actually. That's actually the only way I won. Very nice. I love winning. This is why I gamble. Um, but it, when it gets to differential equations, you get a little bit of that um, stuff that makes sense and a lot more of the just memorize something because otherwise you... Uh, it doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's stuff that you cannot derive. And that's all. Alright. Uh, let's start with the 1 and I'll just go up to wagering 100. And if I break even, I'll leave. And if I don't, I'll leave. And I'll be really sad. Um, we will see. Give me an 8. Okay, fine. Three. Yeah, that's that's super cool. Well, not that it would have mattered, because Banker wins with nine every single time. I don't like being screwed. I feel like I have to play again. <laughs> uh, oh, great. Oh, no. Why did I have to stay when I'm going to be the dealer? This is terrible. This is all right. This is not all right. This is terribly not all right. This is extremely not all right. Look at my point count. I have to bet everything. I legitimately have to. I must bet every single thing I have. It's extremely important that I bet everything. Wouldn't it be cool if you could like get out on a zero? It'd be really cool if you could get out on a zero. I guess that's not happening though. Uh, well, whatever. Let's go sleep in a tent, like everybody else that gambles. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, jeez. I gotta say, I'm really liking the way my finances look after that one. I just spent 30,000 yen on a game I don't understand. Let's see if I can spend, put any of that money towards something that actually matters. <laughs> Didn't I? Okay, I have... Well, I don't know if I actually even have the money for... Oh, I do. Well, in that case, there we go. Now I don't have the money anymore for anything. Whatever. But, yeah. Uh, I feel like I was going to mention more mathematical functions. But there's not... Uh, there's not really much benefit to that, in all honesty. Like, I was going to bring up the Dirac Delta function, but that's 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 actually one of the ones that makes sense. So, you know, differential equations is, in the end, um, it's a way of solving equations that you're never going to actually have to solve. <laughs> like, I'm an engineer. If I were a mathematician... Or if I were dealing in higher dimensions, or if I were trying to solve mathematical problems, then maybe. There's an extent to which, uh, like dealing in electrical, you kind of have to solve multivariable uh, differential equations. 
and for that it's really good but I don't know how much I'm gonna have to deal in uh, solving equations that aren't already themselves models that I've built to well model um, model out uh, some kind of situation Oh, do you now? He's gonna be like, nice suit. Why are you wearing where to hobo get that? You don't look too homeless. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am I now. This is a public park, man. Who are you to tell me I can't live here? City ordinance. Yeah, right. Can I take his bat and hit him with it? Hitting people with bats is normally really good in this game. Boink. They really weren't at all paying attention to my Yakuza looking ass. Come on, man. The hobo harasser. <laughs> the hobo harasser. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, they, they call <laughs> they call me the hobo harasser. <laughs> oh my jeez! Dang, bro, they got they got me there. I'm just gonna have to kick their asses instead of sending them to jail. This one talks big. <laughs> Also, how the heck young are they to not spend a day in jail? Yeah, right. Do they not have freaking, like, now that I'm 10 in, in Japan? Can you really commit bloody murder as a small child? Is this the Sanda universe? Where, um... You know what I'm talking about. So, the guy who created Beastars made a super epic, um whole other series revolving around a kid that can turn into Santa Claus. Um, yeah, it's it's really super interesting. I like how I finish off on the same move every single time. It's just what I do. Hey, pal. Takes this one. Boink. And give me that bat. That's good. Hey, pal. Taste this. Not a single scratch on me or my really nice suit. I am the god of beating up teenagers. The bum basher. Oh. <laughs> I'm the bum basher. Oh my gosh. They call me the hobo harasser. The basher of bums. I say, I, this is the, this is the, like, the names get more and more derivative, like, just one of the kids came up with Homeless Hunter, and the rest of them were like, oh god, how am I gonna top that? You took the, you took the good name. <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta, you gotta let one of us have it. You can be the hobo harasser. Like, nah, man, I don't wanna be the hobo harasser. I'm the Homeless Hunter, I came up with it. You'll, you'll be the bum basher. How about that? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now they're going to be har harassed by the homeless. Yeah. This is yours anyway. Here, have a taste of it, pal. <laughs> it's mine now. Yep. Hey, come on, man. That's not very nice. Yeah, keep it down. I'm only going to break your legs a little bit. Get kneecapped, son. Anyways. Yeah, I figure letting a homeless man bash open a teenager's skull in this place I'm trying to hide out inconspicuously is maybe not the best idea. So hopefully he just scared him off. Um, but, you know. <laughs> uh, it it kind of depends. There's not really a win situation on that end. Because, you know. On one hand, you have kids running off screaming about, like, some big Yakuza guy in a white suit beating the crap out of them. On the other hand, you have the police um, investigating 
youngins getting their heads split open by homeless people with baseball bats. Um, you know, not very good for somebody that doesn't want to get picked out of a crowd, picked off, period. Oh well. Not a man here who would sell you out, not after tonight. Ah, very nice. Thank you, homeless man. Smelly hobo, number one. Or are you number four? I forget. We don't know your name. I like to think Kiryu just refers to them as a um, bearded homeless man. And he's like, dude, I told you my name. I literally told you that my name is Nakamura. Which is ironic, because... Naka means outside, and Muda means useless. Useless outside man. And he says, okay, beardless homeless man. Bearded homeless man, I'll be sure to remember that. Anyways, I guess Muda, Muda, yeah, no, I, I got that one way off. It's a completely different syllable. Oof. Also, Naka is inside. So it is ironic because Naka means inside. So you would hope that a guy named Naka Mura would be inside, like inside of a house perhaps, but no, he's homeless. Not that his name's even actually Nakamura, I have no idea. His name is just legitimately bearded homeless man. Anyways, I think that's that's been enough for one day. Till next time though, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna let the homeless people bash your skull in. <laughs> uh, you bum basher. Hmm. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.